Buenos dias, muchachos y muchachas. And welcome to the Amazon jungle. Welcome to Atuni. Do you believe in miracles? Because I do. I've been searching for wellies since I came to the Amazon here after going to the Amazon over in Colombia. When I came here to the Amazon the other day, as you saw, I was willy chopping. What you didn't saw, because I didn't actually buy any, was I looked for wellies as well. Um, so I chose not to put it in the actual video. But there you go. There's a man here called Marcelo. He has a boot, a welly, that is the size of my feet. So I can actually fit in here. So let's now, equipped with my yellow wellies, go and fish with the kids of this little family. Mucho mejor caminar con los yellow wellies. Uh -huh. Exacto. Sí. Bueno, es bueno. Aquí hay más tracción. Ah. Mi zapatito no tiene mucho tracción. Sí. Es más Pero para... Más para correr, para jugar fútbol, cosas ah. así. Ok. Nos vemos en un rato. So, we're headed out into the jungle down here. Just down here behind that little, I don't know if you could see it on this camera, there's a little house down there. Behind there is the river. Let's go. We are in this area called Atuni today and we are with these little two kids. Kevin era su nombre, no? Y el otro, tu amigo? Como? Emmy. Emmy. Emin. Edwin. Edni. Edni is his name. So we're with these little two kids and we are going to go fishing because here in the Amazon life is such that you're not a kid for very long. Once you're done with school in the Amazon, you are the son the man responsible for fishing. So check it out here. ¿Cuántos veces van pescando? ¿Todos los días van pescando? Después la escuela. Después la escuela. Ah, ok. ¿Y no? ¿Desde qué edad se empieza a hacer esto? ¿Desde qué edad empiezan pescando? ¿Cómo? This the lunes. So they start fishing on Monday. From Monday's age old. ¿Y de qué edad? ¿Cuántos años tiene? Nueve. Nueve. So he's nine years old and he's already fishing. ¿Y Kevin cuántos años tiene? Diez. Diez. Nine and ten. ¿Y desde qué edad empiezan a hacer así pescadería? ¿Qué edad empieza con pesca después de escuela? Ocho años? Nueve, siete años? Siete. So from seven years old, they start fishing here. I should have bought swimming pants here. Because I'm, my wellies are up to the, up to the waistline of the welly itself. So there you have it. Life in the Amazon. Fishing as a nine year old, eight year old, seven year old. You start at seven years old is what they say. Or you start on Monday. They don't really understand me. I don't really understand them. But pretty much around Monday or seven, six, seven, eight years old, you start fishing after school. What I did when I was eight, nine years after school, I would go home, have a sandwich, and get straight on my homework. If I was on a good day, if not, I would go straight to the computer games. Let's be honest. I would mainly go to the computer games. Up here, we've got another little school, village. The school is on the other side of the river. So kids here have to cross the river to get to the school. And over there, we've got a little airport as well. So, if people get sick, if these little kids get bitten, get harmed, get hurt, in some way, shape or form, fishing here. A little airplane will come from a town called Macas. 
the capital of this region of Ecuador, collect the kids and send them to the, to the hospital should they get hurt in a way that you can't treat here with natural, natural medicine such as ayahuasca or any of the other plants that you take, take as medicine here. All right, let's get stuck in and try fishing with the kids. We caught a rock. Kevin caught a rock. Rock eyes. Tengo que intentar. A ver, me tienes que enseñar. Tú puedes agarrar esto. Así. You can be cameraman. Okay. Enséñame cómo. In boca, in the mouth. Uh -huh. In the boca. Okay. Por acá. Esto. Nada. Okay. Ven por acá, está por acá, por acá, ahí está. There's one. Un pequeño pescado. We got a little one. Un poco más allá. Ahí está. Okay. La soga mantengo en mi un mano, ¿no? Sí, aquí me te aquí. Dedo. Ahí. Sí. Y esto. Suelte, suelte, suelte. Suelte, suelte, eso, suelte. Suelte. ¿Cómo? Suelte, ok. Y mete bien tu mano. Uh -huh. Y ahí suelte eso también. Suelte todo eso. Suelte todo eso, ya. Y, y, y recoja así bien. Ahí. Okay. Okay. Sí. Así. Como que se va resbalando cuando lo alzo. Sí. Coja. Ajá. Y ahora aquí. 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 Ya. En boca esto. En boca. Sí. Ajá. De eso suelta. Ajá. Es metes aquí. Ajá. Metes. Metes. De ahí lanza. Así. Sí. Okay. Ready? Sí. Así. Sí. Más o menos. And then sacar. Then we take it up. To see if we got anything. Algo? No, no por arriba. Nada. Okay, hay que sacar más rápido. Sí. Okay. Suba más para acá. ¿Cómo? Suba más. We go up. Manténgalo arriba de la cámara. Oh my god. It is so difficult to walk in these rocks here. You can't see the floor. Just trying your best to feel your way without falling over. Okay. I think I'm gonna go for the technique without the mouth this time. And just wrap it around my arm. Because I think the little kids need the mouth because of their lack of strength compared to compared to me. Maybe I'll look myself, I'll make myself look like a great fool here. But let's try. Donde está? Aquí. Y eso aquí. Y eso en boca aquí en tu boca. Sí o sí en boca. Okay. Uh huh. That was better. Y rápido. Rápido. Así. Nada. <laughs> try, try you. So Kevin got tired of my show. He's going to show me how things are done here. ¿Capturaste algo? No. No. Nada. He didn't catch anything either. Algo? There's a little one. He did catch something. Check it out. Pero solo esos pequeños se que se se casa. Sí. Se pesca. Y para eso sirve para qué? Para pescar más grande pescado? Sí. Okay, okay. Ya entiendo. So these fish that we catch here serve the purpose as bait for other fish. Or the bigger fish out in the river 
such as massive catfish and so on. Carachas. I don't know what that is. I think they're little catfish. That's what these fish are. All right. I decided to say, start it. I'm just gonna get in and get wet on the, on the, on the parts of my trousers. So now that I'm wet anyways, let's help these kids kids fish, be a proper man, show them that the Viking doesn't really care about getting wet. We can't have them when they grow up, like some of the older men here in the village, telling stories about how once they met this Viking that was useless at walking in the river. He wouldn't even get out to get wet. That can't be true. So let's get it. Let's go fishing with the kids. Jackson, the man who took us here. ¿Cómo está? ¿Estabas durmiendo? Ahora vas a pescar igual? Sí. O ya fuiste a pescar? Ya me fui, pedía más leve me voy. ¿Y capturaste algo? No. ¿Y usted vive acá? Sí. ¿Solo? No, con mi padrastro y mi mami. Mi mami es de Max. ¿Él es tu hermano? No, mi padrastro. ¿Tu padrastro? Sí. Ah, ok. Padrastro es eh, Godfather, ¿no? Sí. Eh, ¿Esposo de su mamá? Sí. Esa. Ah, ok. ¿Y cuántos años tiene? Cuatro. ¿Tú? Diecinueve. Diecinueve, ok. Nineteen years old. ¿Y cómo se llama Padrastro? ¿Su nombre es real, que no es Francesco Totti? ¿Su nombre? Sí. Vidal. Vial. Vidal. 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 Ah, ok. ¿Cómo está? ¿Estás aquí vivo? Sí, yo aquí. Ah, ok. ¿Y esos son tus hijos? No, son mis hijastros. ¿Cómo? Mis hijastros. Hijastros. Sí. Ah, ok. ¿Aquí juegan fútbol? Sí. <laughs> They're playing football with the little fishing thingy. Este, del, 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 del pescar, ¿no? Sí. <laughs> A ver, métele gol. ¡Ay! ¿No llega el río acá? No. El río está allá, no mucho más abajo. Sí, no mucho. Aunque crezca, no llega acá. No. No. A veces en cuando en un de acá. A veces en cuando. Solo un poco. Sí, un poco. Porque tú estás mucho más abajo que sí. el resto del, del pueblo. Ajá. This man is much lower down than the rest of the family or the rest of the, the village. And let's check the house. They've got dogs as well. And here, they've got something I guess that they've caught this morning. Crabs, river crabs, fresh river crabs, little tiny bananas, a little bit of avocado. But according to, um, and here they have chicha, the drink, that fermented drink. According to Alex's mom, there's no avocados here. So I guess he must have brought them from the, from where we came from yesterday. And here we've got some small bananas as well. They cook all the bananas here. Banana here is for cooking. And what else do we have? We have a little dining table, salt, spoons and plates. They don't really acknowledge the existence of anything else but spoons here. Es una chaqueta. Y aquí, platos. And here we've got the plates. The plates and rubber balls. Eso es el mío. Para lluvia. So yeah, simple houses. And then on the other house. Esto es muy caliente para ahora. Cuando va el sol. When the sun comes out, it gets really, really hot here. Acá solo camas. Y un motor. Tu peque peque, lo dice, ¿no? Sí. ¿Es el mismo que utilizaste ayer? No. Otro. Otro, de mi primo. Que está roto. No, solo oh. falta gasolina. Falta gasolina. Sí. Pero ¿dónde está el resto del palo? Ahí está ya. Ah, ok, over there. Se engancha nomás y, y listo, se utiliza. Entiendo, entiendo. Ay. <laughs> Lindo. So that's the houses here. That's how people live, and this is where they dry up old used fishing nets on around this little shed here. And we've got a little storage department up here i think this is where they've trained the chickens to come and drop their eggs so 
that's a house tour for you. A house tour. A traditional house in the middle of the Amazon jungle. The middle of the Ecuadorian Amazon jungle. ¿Qué la cocina? Sí. Ah, es el mismo horno que allá al lado. Sí, es cocina de mi hijo. Él. ¿De tu hijo? Sí, de Alex. De Alex. Y aquí tienes el pescado. Sí, aquí está todo cortado. Uh -huh. Después se pone ajos de aquí. ¿Ajos? Sí. ¿Este es ajo? Ajos es. ¿Eso lo aquí. dices ajo? Sí. Olor tiene como ajo, ve. A ver. Ah, sí. sí. This is like garlic. This little leaf. Es. Garlic, ajo. Ajo sí. no tan picante, ¿eh? Ajo es eh, rico nomás. Sí, rico es esto. Se pone en sopa también. Aquí es más picante. So this little leaf smells like garlic. So we put aquí mucho de esto. Sí. ¿Y qué más se pone? Sal se pone. Sal. Pero ahorita como estoy haciendo este apuro, no sé qué este, ¿cómo se llama? Palmito. Con palmito. Palmito. Sí. Sí. Ah. Pero no sé qué. Palmito es esa cosa blanquita, ¿no? Sí. Sí, sí, sí. I'm not sure what that thing is called in English. But it's like a artichoke, I think. It's kind of similar to that one. ¿Y al sartén lo frite o con agua? No, como con... tipo sopa o... o Yapaco. Yapaco. Sí, con hojas. Otra hoja más. Sí, ya voy a traer. Ajá. ¿Eso es sal? Sí, eso es sal. Ah, y en este lo cocina. Sí. ¿Eso es hoja de plátano? ¿De banana? Sí. Es como lo que tenías allá, eh, cocinando al lado del fuego, allá, en el otro. Eso es esto, uh -huh, de uh -huh. hoja de paja. Eso es propio lo que se hace, hojas y apacos. Ah, otro, otro hoja. Eso es otro hoja. Eso es de palma. ¿no? Eso es de paja. Paja. Sí. Ok. ¿Y este hoja? Hoja, lo que se hace propio, y apacos. Y el otro ahí se utiliza igual para techo, ¿no? Sí. So we get a lot of salt and then with leaves there. It's kind of like garlic. And then, aquí se envuelve. Sí. Exactly. Ya le voy a poner. ¿Y cómo se amarra? Ya le voy a amarrar. Ok. Uh -huh. ¿Y se pone directo encima del fuego o, o, sí. o, o al lado? Ahí ya le voy a sacar para poner. Ok. Okay, so there we go. Then she wraps it around like this. Eso es lengua de paja. Ajá. Uh -huh. Para amarrar esto. Para amarrar, como soga. Paco, sí. So this is like how to tie it around. So you get a bit of the bottom of this leaf there. Of this leaf here. Get a little bit of the bottom there and you tie it around. ¿Cómo se sabe cuánto tiempo se cocina cuando esté listo? Ya cuando está medio quemado eso, todo se seca. Adentro está bueno. Sí. Okay. 20 minutos. Ya 20 cocina. minutes to cook the whole thing. ¿Y esta roca para, se utiliza para algo? ¿O es solo sí, para...? Es piedra es. ¿Para, para qué? Pa paramos este olla, medio alzado, tapa se quiera. Ahí para que cocine bien. Se... ¿Ahí? Sí. Ah, ok. So when you boil something, kind of like when you don't have a pressure cooker, a pressure pot, then you just put this little rock on top of it and the water won't come out even no matter how much it boils. Because obviously you can see when you boil straight over fire like this, it will get well hot. Ah, y aquí has metido todo el entero pescado que estaba acá. ¿Y cómo es el nombre de los dos pescados? Eso es boca chico. Boca chico. Eso que llama que este como caracha, eso es raspa. Raspa, ok, sí. raspa. We tried that one. Eso probé en, en Colombia. Uh -huh. el, el que hace ah, vuelta acá entero. Ah. Y esto, boca chico. Boca chico. Small mouth. So you get a little bit of, of this, you rip it off. Like this. It just comes off like that. And then you have a little bit of, of rope, basically, to tie your thing. This is how they also tie the houses over there. Ese mismo. 
así pedazos utilizan para eh, poner el techo, ¿no? No. ¿No? Es otro. Otro es. Otro, ok. Algo más fuerte todavía. Sí. So I was wrong. Not exactly the same thing they use for for the house or for the to put the roof on. Okay. And then we put it okay, directo encima del fuego así. Then we put it straight in like this. Yeah. Y 20 minutos, ya yeah. hay pescado fresco, sí. bien cocido. Excelente. Va a ser rico. ¿Y con qué se come? Con, con yuca. yuca. Con yuca. Yuca y plátano. Yuca y plátano. Sí. Perfecto. Y aquí. Y aquí. Ese mismo aquí. Sí. Que tenía así. Sí, ayer. Ah, okay. Okay. ok. Va a ser bien rico entonces. Ajá. So 20 minutes and we'll have a lovely dinner. Cooked in this little makeshift oven. Banana leaves. Or not banana leaves, but let's just call them banana leaves for now. With fish and this little leaf that literally has a smell and probably a taste like garlic as well. 20 minutes in the fire when the leaves are cooked and burned. What's on the inside is fresh and ready to eat. See you at dinner. Fun fact. Did you know how a pineapple grows? It grows on this type of cactus-like thing here. There you see, this is a pineapple. On this type of, it looks like a cactus palm, mixed between a palm tree and a cactus, growing out of the ground. One, ow, and they are spiky on top as well. One pineapple per plant. Here's another one, little baby pineapple coming up here. There's another plant here, another plant over there, and a third plant over there, but none of those have flowers at this moment in time. The Vanilla family here as well has a pond. This pond, I don't know if you can see, little fishes swimming around in there. This is how we get fish for dinner in this type of village. They literally breed fish, so they catch, obviously, catch fish down in the river, keep them alive, and put them in this pond over here such that they will always have fish fish to eat instead of breeding cows or porks pigs they breed fish welcome to the amazon there we go Lista. the fish is ready this is how it looks and as you see the leaves on the outside completely burned, but on the inside it's fresh. And you eat it with a type of banana, plantain, I think you would call this in English. It's like this banana that's only meant for being cooking, for being cooked. You don't eat this banana uh, fresh. Fresh, it's like a piece of basically a plank of wood. And here's the other fish. Oh. Su ojo así bien blanco. ¿eh? Sí. <laughs> This is the fish we tried in, in Colombia with Giovanni. ¿Y cómo era el nombre de esto otra vez? Raspa. Raza. Raspa. Raspa. Y esto eh, boca chico. Boca chico. Porque tiene pequeño boca. Ok. <laughs> <laughs> ¿Porque su boca es pequeña o, o, o por qué? Porque tiene boca pequeñita. Ajá. Sí, y por eso es. Solo chupa este piedra, ese sucio que están pegados en piedra, eso solo. Ah, oh, ok. No Entonces cuando pescas lo vas a los a las piedras, botas y listo, tienes tu tu pescado. De boca chico, which means small mouth. A white fish. I think I've gotten some bones with my with my fish here. Let's take them out first. Cuidado, ese tiene bastante espino. Mucho espino, ya. Yeah. Sí. Eso vi. Eso vi, mucho espino. Mm. Sí, le deja sabor tipo como ajo. Ah, este. Sí. Le deja el mismo sabor, igual no es solo el olor. Mm -hmm. Wow. 
this is where I wish you could smell and uh, smell and taste the same as I can when I'm in these kind of places. Oh, a fish bone in my throat there. This little green leaf that we put in the fish itself inside here when we cooked it literally leaves a taste like similar to a garlic, a clove of garlic. But it's just a leaf. And it literally had that smell as well as you smell when you when you open a, a, a fresh piece of fresh clove of garlic. As I say, this is when I wish you could be here with me, next to me, really feeling and smelling it. You have to trust my word for it, but trust me, it really does taste like garlic. Mm. And let's try their uh, chili as well. Chili with uh, what you call these? Call it parsley, I think you call these in English. I'm not sure. Poor light in Spanish, in Danish. Mm. Nothing better than food that just comes straight from your garden, eh? Fresh, organic, right out of the garden, straight out of the garden. Spectacular Amazon dinner here, or lunch, I should say.